we plan things so that it fits for the cattle, it fits for the crops, and it fits for the wildlife, all simultaneously. Everything's a system. So what I do from crop planning has to fit with the cattle enterprise. It has to fit for the hunting enterprise because we have to have the birds as well. We have to have habitat for them. But it really is the cattle that, that drive it. So it's up to me to grow the crops necessary to provide ample amounts of feedstuffs for those animals throughout the entire year. On average, they'll consume about 45 to 65 pounds of feed a day. When our feedlot is full, about 3,500 head, we're feeding about 170,000 pounds a day. So if you equate that out over about a 10 month period, that's a tremendous amount of feed that has to be produced. And we don't buy very much feed. Unless we have a drought, uh, we produce every bit of that. My father had the foresight to allow the transition to become what it is. He had tremendous vision in that he knew that if he wanted this to stay in the family, that he had to be able to allow other successors to come back and help that transition. He didn't want to dictate it, but he wanted them to give them space enough to become managers and become decision makers, responsibility takers. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This is what gets me up in the morning, and this is what makes me do what I do. It's just all this beautiful country out here. You know, it, it can be tough and it can be beautiful at the same time, but there's no other place I'd rather be than right here.